um, as now I'm serving on the uh, County Ethics Commission and uh, um, and the Operating Budget Committee. Um, so. I, when I started from local PDAs, I observed that, that there are not many Chinese uh, parents are um, in the school um, to serve the, the community. And uh, we uh, in Howard County, I'm in Howard County, Maryland. We have 20% Asian Americans. Uh, and in the school level, uh, there are even higher population of um, Asian Americans. But there are not, rarely see any Chinese parents in in the building and uh, there at the local level there are issues that are very related to our daily life and our voice is not getting heard so that's that motivated me um, to uh, come forward and step into the leadership um, role in in our county so what did you do for that or what kind of the things the association do um our mission is inform, involve, and empower. Inform, we help the parents navigate the school system because most of our members are uh, first generation immigrants and they need help to, uh, to understand how the, how the school system works because we grew up in a very different system. And involve, of course, to encourage and support the parents to get involved in the school activities and uh, um, the community at large. Uh, empower is to um, support uh, the, the parents to advocate for their kids and we ha if we have uh, issues as a whole community we, uh, so we ad advocate for the whole community so for example we uh, four years ago it was in 2014 we advocated for a school day off on Lunar New Year and we succeeded the first time try and we are among very few uh, districts uh, to have to have this policy in place, and we are a, a huge uh, school district. We have 56,000 student uh, enrolled students, so um, it's a big su success. And I'm hoping that this can serve as a roadmap for um, other other uh, counties, uh, other Chinese communities to uh, to learn how to um, advocate for ourselves, how to get our voice heard, and we, I, I would like to have other counties to do the same. So what kind of the changes do you want to see in the future? Um, so we started as a parent association, right? But we move forward to in the civic engagement areas. So last year we had five uh, civic engagement seminars to help our local people, our local Chinese community, to understand what are, what are the issues in our in our local community and how we can advocate for ourselves and how, how uh, the legislation works. Um, and so, um, and another thing we are working on now is to increase the voting rate of uh, Chinese American and Asian Americans. So, in the past, we look at it, when we look at the data. In the past, uh, Chinese Americans only had five percent voting rate. That is grossly low. Um, and this year, this midterm primary, we increase the number from 5% to 15%. It's still lower than the average. However, it's we increased by three times. It, we tripled the number, so it was a big success. So that encouraged us that it is doable, and that's only for the Chinese American. But uh, we have Indian Americans and, and Asian uh, Korean Americans in our community, and we look at their numbers, they're pretty much 5% of voting rate. Um, so we are working with them now to uh, replicate this success in other Asian communities. So you just mentioned that the old, uh, you hope all the pe uh, people and the parents to involve the school uh, program and the school board or something like that, right? And what do you think, what kind of the challenge the, for the uh, Chinese American parents to do that? I think uh, there are many challenges. One is the culture barrier and the language barrier, of course. I think that's, that's a big part of it. Um, and another thing is we grew up in China and we are, we are in a very different system that you get punished if you speak up. You get 
punished if you stand out. Um, and w there are always some concerns uh, back in our mind that whether it's okay to speak this way or that way, uh, how can I speak without offending other people? We're in a very steep learning curve right now. Um, and I think it's, it's doable um, if we keep moving. We can move slowly, but we cannot stop. Yes, you was uh, one of the panelists in the morning, right? And I talk about the difference between the USA and the Chinese. But um, I think the most important things, the first things we have to do is to be a very good listener. Mm -hmm. So can you please share us how can we be a very good listener and uh, we can get a very good communicator with other people for the Chinese America? I think, first of all, um, I, first of all, I'm a parent. So I have two teenagers at home. So when you have teenagers at home, you have to learn how to listen. And I apply that skills to the community service. You have to be patient. You have to be very um, open-minded and, and not judgmental. And that is uh, a trend scale. It's not ingrained in our in our blood. It's it can be trained and it ha it has to be trained. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.